Roger Webb and welcome to my workshop. Today's video is brought to you by SaneSmart. I've had this SaneSmart for about a year now and I haven't used it very much uh, and that's about to change. So I've already uprated the spindle to a 800 watt, which is just over a, about one and a quarter horsepower spindle. And what I want to do, uh, before I start doing much work with this, is I want to enclose it. Because it's it can be a little noisy with this trim right there. I'll demonstrate. And that running for an hour or more in your workshop, um, you know, can get a bit... Um, bit telling on you. So, um, to cut down to make zero dust and to cut down on the noise a bit, I'm going to enclose this into one unit with a, a nice uh, Perspex front. Uh, so that's the subject of today's video. There won't be too much chat in it because uh, you know I'll just be doing a lot of carpentry to uh, box this in so let's get on with it Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually put these very sturdy side panels on there just to um, strengthen the frame up. Um, it's you know it's obviously not strong enough yet. So uh, this is oak actually. So this is going to go on here like this. Um, same the other side, and then I'm going to have two perspex, uh, or actually acrylic uh, doors on here, which I think will finish it off quite nicely. But I'm also going to put a, a face here on this as well. Um, I've got some um, three millimeter, with eighth of an inch, malamine board which I'm going to clad the whole of this 
and of course that cladding will um, stiffen everything up as well and I will actually put some stiffeners in the corners just to uh, make sure it is a sturdy job so here we go I'm using I've changed the size of brads as well now these are uh, let me see these are 35 millimeter brads so they don't come through the wood of course something like this you know you don't need to really screw it or glue it as long as you put enough brads and stiffness you're fine So it's far easier now for me to mount a light on the inside of here, uh, obviously for filming purposes. So that's the next thing to go in. So put the bracket up first. So tree bag this so I know exactly where to go. I'm going to put the side panels and the back panel on now and to do that I'm using these um, the three quarter inch brads three quarter inch in length which is fine for these panels um, and one side is MDF and the other side is Malamine so because I want the light because I film to bounce around inside and uh, you know sort of I want all the light uh, being reflected inside there and not being absorbed and putting the white facing in so here we go you need three two pairs of hands really for this but we'll get there I think Of course, at the back we have this NEMA 23 stepper motor hanging at the back. So I've had to kind of slot it at the back. I've cut it quite a bit wider because eventually I'm going to put um, a dust extractor system in. Uh, run with a vacuum cleaner actually, a, a shop vac and um, so I want somewhere for the air to go in um, okay so here we go
let's see if we can cut this out with it, stuffing it up. That's not right. Obviously, I cut that out without using my brain. Because I cut down the sides on the wrong side of the line. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be alright. It's just a cover sheet. Oh, I could have done that better. Of course, every job that you do in your workshop has at least one deliberate mistake. So I can show you what not to do. So I have to do it myself to show you. <laughs> That's my excuse when I'm sticking to it. Okay. <sighs> but it'll be okay. Okay, so to hang the doors, what I've done is I've marked the central point there and there. And if I just line those up, like so. Just 
is going to hope this tape holds. Should do is carpet tape. Okay. Okay. Looks a bit mucky because um, sort of static electricity, I think, that's um, attracts you know all the bits and pieces to it. Hope that's not going to be a problem. There it is, finished. I think that'll quiet it down and keep all the dust from flying her in the workshop. And I think it finishes it off better. Okay, so if you've liked the video today, please like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing with my channel, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel that keep this channel going and you know allows me to do things like this because I buy all the machines myself and um, I hope I sort of can convey interesting information to you guys uh, especially the new starters how to actually start operating these and even building one yourself. So thank you for joining me for this video and hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.